Hi everyone, my name is Veda Kamarjigila, and thank you for joining me virtually today, and hopefully we can be together in the library very soon. Today's program is from Urban Stages, and we're going to be moving around a little bit, so make sure you have enough space to move out your arms, and if you want to get up and jump around, make sure you're on a soft surface. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of dancing today. Today's program is about myths. Can anyone tell me what a myth is? I can't hear you. Myths are stories or legends, usually featuring a god or goddess or a hero or heroine. They're used to teach lessons and explain the unexplainable at that time, such as the weather. Now when we want to learn some of these ancient myths and stories, we can look online, we can watch a YouTube video, we can go to the library and talk to a librarian about one, take out a book. But how do you think these stories were shared from so long ago? I mean, we're still telling and sharing them now. How would you pass on a story if you couldn't read or write it down? You could draw a picture, you can tell the story, and you can even dance the story. Today, we're going to be learning a myth from India. This story is called Mohini Basmasura. Can you say that with me? Mohini Basmasura. In India, many myths were shared through dance. Today, we're going to be talking about a specific dance form. This is called Bharatanatyam. Can we say that together? Bharatanatyam. Bharatanatyam is a dance form from southern India. And one of the coolest, most special parts of this ancient dance form is that it has a secret language. The dance form uses gestures to tell a story. Each hand gesture can stand for an animal, it could be a symbol, it could be an idea, it can help build a character. These gestures are called mudras. Can we say that together? Mudras. Next, I'm going to show you a few mudras and let's see if you can understand the secret language of dance. Can you guess what this mudra is? The mudra you just saw depicts a snake. How many of you were right? Let's look at the next mudra. Can you guess what this is? We were depicting the moon and the stars in the night sky. Now let's do something a little bit more abstract. Could you see what that is? My face looked really upset. So here I was depicting an emotion, a feeling, and I was looking pained or sad or worried. Now let's do the same hand gestures with a different expression. That could be happiness, or being in love, or feeling joy. The blooming gesture is going to be fire erupting, and the falling gesture is ash falling from the sky. This gesture is going to be repeated throughout the dance, so while you're watching, see if you can catch it. Now let me introduce the characters in today's story. Our first character is King Basmasura. This is a picture of him. What can you get from this picture? Say it out loud. Do you notice anything about him? Yes, he has a crazy big mustache. And look at his eyes and his expression. He looks kind of mean, doesn't he? And he's very strong. I mean, look at his muscles. Now, let's figure out how we can use mudras or gestures to describe his character. First, let's work on the mustache. So we can curl it and look a little bit up. Let's try this together. And I want you to have a mean, snobby expression. Let's try that, okay? Next, let's depict his strong physique. And anytime you see him, he's gonna be walking like this, He's very strong, has big muscles. 
and any time you see him, we want to show that he's not a great guy. He's not a fair king. He's a mean character. So anytime we see Basmasura, he's going to look haughty and angry and maybe even a little scary. Our next character is Lord Shiva. What do you notice about him from this picture? Yes, he has multiple arms. Each one of his arms depicts a quality about him or one of his powers. So you can see in one hand, he's holding a drum and the drum represents the sound of creation. In another hand, he holds fire and that represents destruction. You can also see that he has one foot on the ground and one foot in the air. Lord Shiva is the Lord of Dance. He also has his arm bent, one arm bent and one arm out straight. So these are ways that we can identify him in the dance. You also notice in the picture that he has a long flowing hair. Lord Shiva also has a crescent moon in his hair. And in this picture, you can see that he is defeating evil with one foot on this demon's head. So you can see that he is one of goodness and although he seems very frantic in this picture because it's one of action, his eyes show a sense of peace. Our next and last character is Lord Vishnu. What do you notice about him in this picture? Again, each one of his arms represents one of his qualities. You can see that he's holding a lotus flower. You can also notice that his legs are crossed and Lord Vishnu maintains the balance in the world. So he has four arms, two are up and two are down. And he also conveys a sense of peace. In our story, we're going to have one of his arms up and one of his arms down. Can we do that together? Now let's do a little test. Now I'm going to use the mudras to act out the character. Can you guess which character I'm acting out? Here's the first one. That was Lord Shiva. Now let's go to the next character. Who do you think this is? That was the evil King Basmasura. And now our final character. And now for our final character. And that was Lord Vishnu. You got all three right. Okay, now it's time for the dance. I'm going to dance and tell the first part of the story. Let's see if you can follow along and recognize some of the mudras in the story. Underneath the moon and stars, the evil king Basmasura meditated for a thousand nights. Om Lord Shiva, please make me the strongest man in the entire world. Om. Come to think of it, I already am the strongest man in the entire world. I can do the most push-ups. I can run the fastest. What I really wish is to be undefeated. I want to be the most powerful man in the entire world. Yes. Um... Basmasura's prayer traveled to Lord Shiva, who was sleeping. Every time I try to sleep, I hear everyone's prayers. I hear, oh, Lord Shiva, Please make me the most beautiful woman in all the world. Or I hear, oh Lord Shiva, please make me the richest man in all the world. But one voice is louder than anyone else's. For a thousand nights, 
I've heard King Basmasura meditate. I should go down to earth and see what he wants. Shiva, you're here to grant my wish. Yes, Basmasura, I'm here. Now tell me, you've been praying for a thousand nights. What does your heart desire? I want to be the most powerful man in the entire world. Can you do that for me, Lord Shiva? What do you mean by the most powerful? I want to make sure I can never die. Nobody should be able to destroy me. I want to be immortal. Um, everything that's born in this world, Basmasara, must die. You have to change your wish. Then, I wish that every head I touch should turn to fire and ash. Can you do that for me, Lord Shiva? What do you think? Should I grant Basmasura the wish? I don't know. It makes me kind of nervous. And Seems like a waste of a wish, doesn't it? What would you wish for? You know, I think I'd wish that every day was Saturday. I guess I have to do it. Grant you your wish. <laughs> now let me test out my powers. Look, there's a snake. <laughs> and look, there's a flower. Now I'm even more powerful than you, Lord Shiva. Let me put my hand on your head. Let's monster. Please, please. <laughs> what have I done?
So now we've heard the first part of Mohini Bas Masra and we've also seen the first part danced out. Next, I'll repeat the story and use the mudras to tell it. You can copy me using the mudras and now we can tell the story together. Underneath the moon and stars, the evil king Bas Masra meditated. Bas Masra wished to be undefeated. He wanted to be the most powerful man in the entire world. Lord Shiva came down to earth to grant his wish. Basmasura was granted the boon that any head he touched would turn to fire and ash. Basmasura started to attack Lord Shiva and Lord Shiva was afraid and nervous. Now let's repeat the entire section in Telugu. If you're uninterested in the Telugu portion, you can skip to the next section where we continue the story of Mohini Basmasara. Basmasara Rane Raju Ati Shakti Mantadu Kavalani Pagalu Ratri Siva Puja Jason Sivudi ఆ తపస్సుని మెచ్చి శివుడు ప్రత్యక్షమయ్యాడు శివుడిని చూసి సంతసించి తన కోరికను తను శక్తిమంతుడు కావాలని ఎవరి తల మీద చేయిపెట్టినా వాళ్ళు భస్మమైపోవాలని చెప్పాడు శివుడు ఆనందంగా అందు ఇచ్చాడు వెంటనే మన భస్మాసురుడు ఓ నేను నీ మీదే ప్రయోజనం చేస్తాను అని శివుడి వెనకాల పడ్డాడు శివుడు ఓ మై గాడ్ అనుకుని భయపడి so when we left off in our story, Lord Shiva was scared and running away from the evil King Basmasra, who now has the power to touch a head and turn it into fire and ash. Let's see what's happening with Lord Shiva now. <sighs> I'm safe. Basmasra seems really bad. I think I might have caused some trouble and I need some help to fix it. Vishnu? Vishnu? Shiva, Shiva, Shiva. Tell me what's wrong? What have you done now? Well, this monster was praying for a thousand nights and I just I didn't know what to do and then he asked for a wish and I gave him the wish and then now he can he can cause fire and eyes and he can kill everyone and he can destroy the world and I don't know what I've done. Thankfully, I know Basmasura well. And I think I can solve your problem. Basmasura only likes two things. Can you guess what they are? Well, he likes himself and he likes beautiful women. I think I can go down to earth disguised as a beautiful woman and solve your problem. 
Let me transform. Basmasura won't be able to resist me. Wow, what a beautiful garden. How can such an evil man be surrounded by such beauty? The flowers, the birds. I think I will make a little stage for myself. This way, Basmasura is sure to notice me. is that? She's so beautiful. Her eyes are shaped like fishes. And her hair is as dark as the night sky. I am the most powerful man in the entire kingdom. And she is the most beautiful woman. I will ask her to be my wife. Excuse me, miss. I see you're dancing over here. Can I join you? Well, are you a good dancer? I only dance with good dancers. Me? I am the most powerful man in the entire world. I'm good at everything. Why don't you Show me a dance and I'll copy you. Pause. Okay, thanks for watching so far, but you can see that I'm playing a lot of characters right now. I am Lord Vishnu, who is disguised as Mohini, and I'm also acting as the evil King Basmasura. Now, Basmasura needs to copy Mohini's dance moves. Can you all help me? I need you to put on your best evil face and work with me to build the scene. So, one second. Now, all of you are going to be Basmasura. Get up out of your seats. And when Mohini does a dance move, you're going to copy it. Sound good? Let's get back into the story. Now, Basmasura, can you do this? That was pretty good. Can you do it on the other side? Now for your final test, let's spin. Oh, pause. Do you remember what happens when Basmasura touches his hand on the head? That's right. He turns into fire and ash. So let's watch that move again. I knew Basmasura would fall for my trick. And thank you all for helping me. I'm going to change you back into the audience now. You can take your seats. While I'm at it, I'm going to become Lord Vishnu again as well. I can't wait to tell Lord Shiva the good news. Basmasura is dead. Lord Vishnu, you're back! Are the animals and birds safe? Yes, Lord Shiva, they're safe. What about the plants and flowers? Are they safe? Yes, Lord Shiva, they're safe. What about 
you. Are you safe? I wasn't harmed at all. And then, what about the audience? Are they safe? They did help me out a little bit, but they're also unharmed. And the world, is the world safe? Yes, Lord Shiva, Basmasura is gone and the world is safe. I told you not to worry and that I would help you. But from now on, be a little bit more careful about whose wishes you're granting. Yeah, whoops. Thank you, Lord Vishnu, for helping me. You're welcome. And thank you, audience, for helping us as well. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed learning about Indian mythology and the Indian dance form of Bharatanatyam. I would like to thank the Brooklyn Public Library for having me on today, as well as Apple Bank for their continual support of world language. Thank you all once again, and I hope you have a lovely weekend. Stay safe.